Peace, peace, peace and love. Hotep, Hotep Mod. Welcome, everybody. Hotep, Hotep, Hotep. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody, to the teachings of my art, Stepping Out of the Matrix book study by Tahuti Amin Hotep Ra. I am Arkad Infinite. And I like to start everything out with our affirmation. If this good scribe could put the affirmation up, we will recite the affirmation. On the count of three, everybody. One, two, three. Anki in ma'at, un in s, nin tet a set in ma'ayat, min hapa pet in ma'ayat, her in kukui, per ikut. I live for ma'at, I exist within her, I do not speak in the place of ma'at. Every day I advance towards my art. My being is surrounded in darkness. I come forth as conscious light. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Today's in attendance, we have Ahati Ma'at. Ahati Ma'at. Ahati was taught under the great Tahuti Amenhotep Ra. He has been a serious student and teacher of the Kemetic culture and history for several years. He has written multiple books, including the textbook Journey of Your Soul, essays and articles. Furthermore, he hosts in-person and online classes, weekly podcasts, and periodically creates documentaries. He also has experience in public speaking and academic debating. He is responsible for the creation of this weekly study guide. Next, we have the architect, <laughs> the scribe, Lamar Scribe, is a poet. Spoken word artist, audio producer, and engineer, healer, spiritual advisor, consultant, and business creator. He is a master student of the Natiru, a true follower and protector of Ma'at, a scribe of the Hudi Amen Hotep. He studies under the master teacher Saba. For the scribe, quality always outweighs quantity. He enjoys observing reality and incorporating these observations into his writings and creations to assist in the awakening of dormant DNA and reversing negative hypnosis. <clears throat> Next in line, we have the great Tahuti Mos. Tahuti Mos is humbled at the opportunity to be at home in Ma'at with the guidance of Tahuti Amenhotep Ra, the Saba Saba. His quest for truth, as they call it, has brought him to the facts. In this experience, he has learned and will continue to teach that everyone has the truth but it is the facts in which the foundation of anything one bases a decision upon should rest. This statement has increased his ability to find his place in the cosmos, and that place is here with you as a student of Ma'at. His journey continues to be an interesting and exciting experience. It began in the truths of Catholicism, Christianity, and Hebrew religions. Realizing that these truths still left him with many unanswered questions and more confused, he continued his quest and found the facts in Ma'at through the teachings of the Saba Tahuti Amen Hotep Ra. He is home to our tower ancestors. His interest is first to his family and second to manipulating the matrix to his will. The rest is commentary. He is an ambassador of the teachings of Ma'at and hosts a weekly YouTube study group. His other interest includes health and healing, investment vehicles, and teaching the facts of this wonderful experience. In closing, he is very excited to be on this journey with you all to bring peace to this world through Ma'at. As students of Ma'at, we will continue to grow and learn together and be the best versions of ourselves on this earth as representatives of our ancestors. Hotep Ma'at. <clears throat> and I am Arkad Infinite, the chairman of the teachings of Ma'at. I'm a master student of the, of the great teacher, Tahuti Amen Hotep. I'm the host of this weekly book study and I'm a true hearted follower of truth based on ancestral artifacts and a love of my people unconditionally. I'm dedicated to commit and learning the metal netter and loyal to my art at all times. And our presenter for today, tonight's presenter is the netter formerly known as AJ. The NETA, formerly known as AJ, specializes in training and educating youth workers, counselors, and educators about arts, culture, and history. He travels the world to experience how people live, and he shares it with everyone who is interested in learning from the research he has witnessed. AJ has a master's degree in entertainment and media business and has been working in the music industry with nonprofit organizations, 
providing program planning and promoting concerts and community events in Madison for over 30 years. During that time, he has facilitated the following innovative after-school programs for Madison School Community Recreation, including Hip Hop 101, Music Production 101, and MP4 Music Programs for Youth. He is also the secretary of the Teachings of Ma'at and host of this weekly study guide. So without further ado, I'm gonna pass the mic to my good brother, the Netter, formerly known as AJ. Take it away, good brother. Hotep, everyone. Peace to the chat. Hope everybody is doing well. Ankh Ujasa Neb. And we're going to jump into my presentation. And um, basically how I'm going to uh, go through my presentation, I'm going to read from Stepping Out of the Matrix. And then after that, um, we'll discuss or I'll get into going depth about the material that um, I read. Uh, I'll be reading from page, I'll start where Scribe left off on page 21, going to page 27. So I'm gonna share my screen. Can everybody see my screen? Yes. Yes, we can see it. Smooth. Okay, so we left off at the nine represents the spiral of life and growth, the infinite universe and galaxies to our brothers, the Maya, it was utilized to represent the primordial egg called the Gi. The beginning or the zero also referred to as the Huna Ku, the one giver, the measure. One second. Okay. You can clearly see the spiral of life and growth, which represented the origin on the galaxy. If you look closely, you can see the correlation with the spiral, the G and the letter G. The letter G was taken by Caucasian Masons to now represent the grand architect the measurer within the compass and the square seen on George Washington's apron. This is George Washington wearing his apron. This is the compass and the square. This Mayan symbol represented the spiral of nature, the galaxy. Now, how they knew what the galaxy looked like is a question I will explain later on in the scroll. They have taught us that we are humans, but what exactly is a human? Have you ever given thought to what that word means? Probably not, because we have been renamed by the very people that have physically enslaved us and now we accept those names and titles without question. Remember, if one can be in a mind state to enslave another, then understand we would be dealing with somebody who is of corrupt mindset, and this mindset is reflected in how one talks, and this is reflected in the language of that oppressor, and that oppressor was the human, the human not the nine hair beings we were called gods or netters. Let's take a look what the word human means and you can clearly see how we have been wrongfully labeled. And we'll look at that uh, as, after uh, I go through the readings. Well, here's a little uh, small uh, description of the word, but I, I'll go into the uh, etymology of the word as well. Uh, humanus, probably related to homo, gen, hominus, man, and to hummus, earth, on notion of earthly beings as opposed to the gods. As we can see in ancient times, we were referred 
to as gods. Then as time went on, there was a division between the term gods and those who were opposed to the gods created the word human to show that there was a distinct difference between the two. This is coming from the an Egyptian hieroglyphic dictionary by E.A. Wallace Budge. The comedic term for Europeans was Timhu. Timhu. The word Tim means completely. And if we look at who, who means demon on page 444 of the Egyptian hieroglyphic dictionary. Also means relative, relatives, and means wicked. On page 496, let's look, let us look at who, meaning demon. Are there any group of people that refer to themselves as demons? Actually, surprisingly, yes. Have you ever heard of the word demography or Democrat? These words break down as this. Demography, 1880 from G.K. Demos, people, plus ing, graphy, the study of, look at this, it just so happens that their word for people is demos, or demos, democracy, and really look at this one, democracy, 1574, from MFR Democracy Democratize from M. L. Democratia from G. K. Democratia from Demos, common people originally district. Kratos rule strength. C. Crassi democratic for one of the two major U.S. political parties is. 1829, though members of the Democratic Republican formerly anti-federal party had been called Democrats since 1798, though colloquial abbreviation or abbreve demo dates to 1793. Self-interest, 1649 from self plus interest, Q dot V dot. And here we see the Greek word for themselves is demos, or person or people. Their very own word, democracy, means self-interest. Demos, again, again, meaning self. Now the self is the spirit of a living being which I will demonstrate as such. Right now, as you are reading this sentence, take your finger and point to yourself. You have probably pointed to your chest or maybe your face, right? Okay, now, if you were to have your chest separated from your body, people could point to your chest and say, that is AJ's chest. This will also apply with your foot arm, or any other body part. People will say that is AJ, foot or arm. This would also apply to anything that you own, such as your purse or pencil or pen. All of the above are stated as ownership, something belonging to you, but none are you because, because you, self, are whom all of these items belong to, your chest, your foot, your pencil. So where is the self or the you? It is the spirit that is within. Understand that the real you is the spirit. Let us look at the Caucasian Greeks called their spirit which would be the real them, the real them. This is coming from the etymology dictionary, demon, demon, 
387 from L Demon Spirit from GK Demon Jen Demonus Lesser God Guiding Spirit to Tailory Deity sometimes including souls of the dead used with Dominion and Christian GK translation and Vulgate for God of the heathen and unclean spirit. So the Europeans actually refer to their spirit force as demon. This is the who. Now for the men suffix of the word, men to be sick or diseased, coming from the Egyptian hieroglyph dictionary by E.A. Budge. Let's look at the word disease from Wikipedia, which is the online encyclopedia. A disease is an abnormal condition of the body or mind that causes discomfort, dysfunction, or distress to the person afflicted or those in contact with the person. Sometimes the term is used broadly to include injuries, disabilities, syndromes, infections, symptoms, deviant behavior, and atypical variations of structure and function. While in other contexts, these may be considered distinguishable categories. Now let's look at the word leprosy. Leprosy, also known as Hansen's disease, is an infectious disease caused by a bacterium called Mycobacterium leprae, which causes disfiguration of the body or skin. The bacterium is an aerobic acid fast rod-shaped baculus microbacterium the modern term for the disease is named after the discoverer of the bacterium. So as we can see, a disease is an abnormality within the body tissue or mental state of a person, and leprosy is one of these ab abnormalities called a disease. Now let's look at the first recorded case of leprosy and see what its true definition is. So 2 Kings 5.12, the leprosy therefore of Naaman shall cleave unto thee and unto thy seed forever. And he went out from his presence a leper as white as snow. Leviticus 13, 25, then the priest shall look upon it and behold, if the hair and the bright spot be turned white and it be in sight deeper than the skin, it is a leprosy broken out of the burning. Wherefore the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is the plague of leprosy. Leviticus 13, 30, then the priest shall see the plague and behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin and there be in, a, be in it a yellow thin hair, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a dry scowl, even a leprosy upon the head or beard. So as we can see before Garrett Henrik Armour Henson, July 29th, 1841, February 12th, 1912, who added his definition to the term leprosy, it was recorded and already defined thousands of years earlier as someone who has white or pale in complexion, who had yellow or what they call blonde hair, and these people were considered diseased and sick, which is why when someone is sick, a person will usually say, are you okay? You look a little pale. 
So it was the European pale skinned, yellow haired people who were called the demos and their very own spirit was called demon who were the sick disease beings called human, which means those who are related demons through a sickness or disease who were opposed to the gods. Okay, so we're gonna double back to page 22 where the letter G was taken by Caucasian Masons to now represent the grand architect, the measure within the compass and the square seen on George Washington's apron. So here are some, some of the things that I'm gonna to begin to address. Who is the Caucasian? The Masons are not the grand architects. We know that the builders of Kemet are the grand architects. That's like so obvious, that's easy, that's easy math, that they are not the grand architects. Um, I have a question and you can answer in the chat and we can discuss this uh, a little bit more, but does anybody have any idea of how many of the U.S. presidents were Masons or belonged to a secret society? You can put it in the chat if you, if you uh, know, or you can Google it. It's all good. We're trying to teach our people to be researchers and find out this information hidden or not hidden so we know what's going on. The compass and the square was taken by the Caucasian Masons as well. And so uh, we're gonna, we'll double back. I'll bounce around a little bit and it all makes sense uh, as we go through things. But another thing we're gonna discuss is there's a number of duality called 11 based on the comedic concept that our double body is our true spiritual body that gives our physical body power. Who are the Caucasians? And so as we are growing in our consciousness, learning of Ma'at and Kemet and the Nile Valley people, I think the first thing I'm gonna read, this is from Wikipedia, but your eyes, your eyes don't deceive you. And what is what there's a word inside of this word Caucasian that I think we might have not in the past really paid attention to. Do you guys see the word in there? And in, in Caucasian that makes this a little more polarizing to bring our attention to another lie that we have been told. I'm going to just read uh, this, what I copied from Wikipedia, and we can get into this a little bit more. This article is about the outdated race concept for the peoples of the Caucasus Mountains, see peoples of the Caucasus, for the U.S. racial classification, white or Caucasian, see white Americans. For other uses of the term Caucasian, see Caucasian disambiguation. The Caucasian race, also ca caucus caucasoid or Europid or Europoid, is an obsolete racial classification of human beings based on a non-proven theory of biological race. The Caucasian race was historically regarded as a biological taxon, which depended on which of the historical race class classification as being used, usually included 
ancient and modern populations from all or parts of Europe, Western Asia, Central Asia, South Asia, North Africa, and the Horn of Africa. How can that be possible? In the United States, the root term Caucasian is still in use as a synonym for white or of European, Middle Eastern, or North African ancestry. How can that be possible? A usage that has been criticized. So I'm just curious if anybody else is curious about who, the, who are the Caucasians. And so the second part of Caucasian is Asians. And so this is a, this is a question I would encourage someone to send into the Tahuti pod class and ask, ask Saba of who are the Caucasians. Stepping out of the matrix, there are two, two U's. Also taken from the concept of understanding there are two, two U's. The one physical U and the, the etheric U and this in the Freemasonry became the W, the letter W, and this became a letter in the English alphabet, and the W is an upside down M, which became the letter M. The letter M is for the word Mason, and when you put the letter W on top of the M and inverse them, it becomes the, comp the compass and the square and the inside of every six-pointed star, which is a symbol of duality, and that is the W. This is plate 15 for the Perk M. Haru, and you can see thou art my double, which is the Ka, within my body. The compass and the square was taken by the Caucasian Mason as well. And there are both of those symbols. This is the this is the the heka that they do. So earlier in the reading, Saba Tahudi this talked about the word human. And this is from the etymology dictionary. And I'll just read part of this. Um, let's see. Let's start with some of these definitions. Philanthropic, kind, gentle, polite, learned, refined, civilized. This is in part from Pi literally earthling, earthly beings as opposed to the gods from roots, dim him, earth, but there is no settled explanation of the sound changes involved. Compare Hebrew, Adam, man, from Adama, ground, cognate with old Lithuanian, Zimu, Associative Zumu, man, male, person. Human interest is from 1824. Human rights attested by 1680s. Human being by 1690s. Human relations is from 1916. Human resources attest, attested by 1907. American English apparently originally among social Christians and based on natural resources, human comedy, some of human activities, 
translate translates French comedy humane Balzac C comedy. So earlier in the reading, Saba Tahuti shared that um, here is from the um, page 444 of E.A. Wallace Budge, an Egyptian hieroglyphic dictionary that Hugh is a demon animal. Then on page 296 of E. Wallace Budge, an Egyptian hieroglyphic dictionary, men is to suffer pain, to be sick or diseased, to be weak, to be in labor. So earlier in the reading, uh, we had discussed, we have been wrongfully labeled we have been renamed by the very people that have physically enslaved us. So let's just talk about names and naming rights. What's your name? What are naming rights about? Naming rights are about ownership, power, and money. So whoever has the power can name something, whoever owns something can name something. And now we're seeing um, people who have money that want to market or promote their company will pay certain companies to put their logos or their names on things to, it's an, it's an example of, or it's a, expression of power if you have the naming rights. When you are the father or the mother of a child, you have those naming rights because you have that right. And so when we think about our names, we really have a lot to consider if we have been, um, if we have been renamed or if we have names of um, people who don't care about our best interests and who were not associated or opposed to the gods. Our name is our identity and our identity is everything. We have been renamed by the very people that have physically enslaved us and now we accept those names and titles without question. Why do we allow this? What are some of the names and titles that have been given to us? Employees, slaves, all kind of very detrimental things that we have been labeled. That has to change. Are you a dem are you democratic? Are you a democrat? Do we live in a de democratic society? Do you live in a democracy? Do you think you live in a democracy? Because you do not live in a democracy. That's not true. The Europeans actually refer to their spirit force as demon. Can, does anybody know what is the number one show on Netflix? I don't watch Netflix, but in the course of my day, I hear people talking about various things. Does anybody know what the number one show on Netflix right now, the number one show that is streaming? I don't even want to say it. It's like heartbreaking. But the number, this is what I heard. I haven't researched it. But I know people are watching the show on Jeffrey Dahmer's life. And Jeffrey Dahmer was killing Black people in Milwaukee and eating them and using their skin for like lampshades and all kind of crazy stuff. Like what, how is that, how is that even something that we should be watching on TV? That's insane. The European is not superior. 
the European pale skin, yellow haired people who were called demos and their very own spirit was called demon human, which means those who are related demons through a sickness or disease who were opposed to you. You are the original netters and they were and are opposed to you. What now? Now that you know this information, what now? Where is the self or the you? It is the spirit within. And that is the end of my presentation. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful breakdown, brother. Can that, can everybody hear me? Mike yes. check. <clears throat> yes. Wow, that was a wonderful breakdown, brother. Very, very, very inspiring. You you two brothers scribed last week's breakdown, your breakdown today. Very, very inspiring. Yeah, Thank man. You. Uh, Thank you, Arcade. I didn't mean to uh, cut you off. I just oh, I wanted to answer the question that I put earlier. I couldn't see the chat. I don't know if anybody answered it, but how many of our presidents were Freemasons or in some kind of secret society? So we are on our 46th president. So totaling 20 of the presidents were either Freemasons or in a secret society like Skull and Bones. So what does that tell you about our country? And they did not pay homage or give credit to the people of the Nile Valley or to Kemet or to Ma'at. And they have been stealing our stuff forever. The, 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 the Aku, the Akat is on our dollar bill. Why would symbols from Ma'at or Kemet be on American currency? Why, why, why? That is a question that needs to be discussed and explored. We're one of the most, we're the one of the richest, most powerful countries in the world. And on our currency is comedic symbols, which they have not publicly acknowledged or paid uh, credence or homage to us. And all they, uh, and, and the society that we live in and how they treat melanated people, this all got to change, y'all. This this all got to change. I am in the process of changing my name, and I can't wait to be liberated from all of the chains that they have on us. That is going to be a glorious day for me because I'm pretty sure my name is a slave name. Arthur Richardson, that's the most European shit you ever heard in your life. That my name's got to go. It, it's got to go ASAP. All of I want every every ounce of oppression that is on me, it has to go. And that's why I'm here. We are stepping out of the matrix and stepping into my eye. And I'll be quiet. I'll let the panel chime in on the presentation. Thank y'all for your time. Powerful, powerful, powerful. The Conscious Conqueror says, put that post back up. I missed it. Scribe. Peace to the foundation. Peace to the foundation from Con Conscious Conqueror. Wonderful. Yeah, they've been stealing our symbolism, man. It's, it's all over the place. It's in plain sight. Uh, a lot of our comedic symbolism is out there. You just gotta, just gotta look and, uh, because <laughs> it's there. Thank God for our teacher, Saba, the Saba Saba. I'm going to um, let Tahuti Mo speak because we we got, we got like 44 minutes. I let the little good brother Tahuti Mo get on and chime in. Oh, Tip, good brothers. Hey, AJ, you ripped it up, man. What I got from you, man, was label. And I also got the labeling and also I got from you was the... Uh, how the change has to start within each and every one of us. You see, we can't just go out there and start changing the world ourselves if the inside of us is not fixed. I really got that. I really got that from you, brother. 
good brother. And uh, man, you you making all the changes, man. You're setting the standard for everybody because you're making all those inward changes that need to occur yeah. so the outward can happen. That's what yeah. it's all about. That That's real right there. That's real. And the sooner our melanated people can understand that, the better they will be in, in, in getting on with themselves and carrying on. So, Hotep Ma'at, my good brother. Hotep, Hotep, Hotep. We had Jamie OX. He said, good work, good work. We had another, who that was? Shannon Southard. What did she say? She said, great presentation, AJ. Great presentation, Shannon said. Great presentation. I appreciate the participation from the chat. Uh, I'm going to let Scribe talk, and then, you know, if we want anybody from the channel want to get on and uh, from the chat want to get on and show yourself, we need people. We need help. Come join our movement and help us out. We need to save our people. We could win as a team. Everybody join us. Teachings of my eye. Go ahead, of my eye. Can I can I be heard? Yes, sir. Go ahead. All right. Peace and love to everyone who has joined us. Excellent, excellent teaching, AJ. Nice and succinct. Very, very amazing. I like how you brought out the naming of everything and how you know they they basically have uh, renamed us as if we're their children you know it's like you know when you have a child you know as, as the parent what you do you name your child and that's 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 what they have uh that's what they have done as if that's the reality and uh yeah it's 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 amazing that you know you were able to bring that out and and show you know some of the origin origins of the the words that they that they use and incorporate and how it really ties into their spirit energy their their kind the, and the you know the energy that they're using to basically hypnotize all of us here and uh you know so thank you thank you for that presentation and, and breaking that breaking that spell down for us you know because that's one thing that's that's very important is we got to you know rename ourselves even when we we do this research and you know, it's, it's, it's most time it's going to go back to a, a Greek source, it's going to go back to a European source. And, you know, it's, that's a no-no. So, you know, excellent breakdown, my brother. I appreciate you. And uh, so, yeah, I'll go ahead and, and, and pass it to Ahati Ma'at, the great Ahati. AJ, that, that, that was, uh, I knew you were going to do great. I was very, uh, it's very uh, captivating. It's interesting. You kept my attention. You had the Google slides going, so you took some time <laughs> prior to uh, presenting. I know how long it takes to put those together. So I am very, very happy because you brothers are, are coming together and literally echoing the Ka of Tahuti. And that's the whole plan here, is just to echo his leadership and then we can't fail so aj that's a great teaching a lot of brothers don't have the courage to actually go deep into the etymology like you do and show us exactly what demon and demos and democracy where all that comes from because our people love the politics here they love it because the politics are tied to the religious hypnosis or philosophy so, yeah, you, you did excellent work. Uh, I remember that teaching, too. And uh, it snapped me right out of the saying human all the time or humankind. So when somebody comes up to me now, humankind, it, also, it always becomes a question for them. Well, what do you mean by humankind? Because according to what AJ just taught here, I, I don't want to associate with any humans. <laughs> I just want to associate with the netters. That's it. The netteru. So, uh, brother, great job, and uh, I look forward to next week. We're going to have Arcad Infinite, Arcad Infinite presenting. I look forward to what he brings to the table. But again, all these brothers here that are on the panel are uh, moving and shaking. Uh, in in um, for the comedic word or the metanet word for darkness is Kiko. Kiko, that's one of them. They're moving and shaking in the darkness. They're doing things behind the scenes for all of you out there so that they can so we could come every week and, and present 
quality, quality information. And we appreciate everybody that came out. I see a Squano Trendings there. I see uh, Jameo X, the Conscious Conqueror, Shannon. And uh, I'm sure there's other people. I'm not scrolling actually up. But yeah, um, come on. Anybody can come on. All are welcome. We welcome contention too. As long as it's respectful. We don't do name calling here. We don't do, uh, we try to stay away from ad hominems and all of that. But you're welcome to come on. So, Arcad, when you're ready. Yeah, uh, Scribe, put the link in the room. We'd love to hear from you. Come on, anybody join us. Come, got a comment, got to add something. You want to come join us. Uh, in the meantime, if anybody got any announcements um, to make, we can share them now. We've been on. We've been live for about fifty minutes. If anybody got any announcements, <clears throat> we can share them now. Um, I have an announcement. Uh, everybody, join us on Monday. Monday, Madonetta class, Saba's class on Monday at. Uh, so I think it's eleven Pacific time. I'm um, Eastern time, so it's usually like two thirty. Join us, uh, of course. Friday, Friday's uh, pot class at 9 p.m put the link in there that's the link okay yeah the link is in the room anybody anybody join us come on don't be scared don't be shy this is how i got here i was scared i was in the back of the class <laughs> just <laughs> absorbing all the information and i got invited to the movement come join us i'm inviting all of you brothers and sisters especially sisters brothers too come join us show your face Conscious Conqueror, it looks like. Welcome, brother. Welcome. Peace. How you doing? Peace, man. Wonderful, What's up? brother. What's up? What's up, brother? Peace. What you think, Ooh, brother? What, Ooh, you, Ooh. what you think, brother? What you think of the breakdown? Nice breakdown, man. Lovely, lovely. Love it every time, you know? <laughs> um, this is good work. Uh, love the, the, the unity. The unity is strength. You know, they always say... Um, was stronger, open hand or closed hand, you know? You know, the closed hand is strong, you know, unity is strength. So, yeah, it was a, it was a good show, man. I mean, I, I got bits and pieces, um, you know, but, you know, I always liked um, a lot of questions and, you know, a lot of things. But um, it was great, man. I love it. You know, sl slowly but surely wins the race. You know, the, the turtle beat the hare. That's yep. Definitely, brother. We appreciate your support, too, brother. We appreciate your support. We appreciate so, all of y'all's support. To we, us. we have 40,000 years of history of Kemet that we need to recover. And I don't think, like, we're so used to how things are in America. It's like, what is the actual culture here? The majority of people's culture is working nine to five, fives, working, making money is the culture here. That's not, that's, that's, that's a, we live in a, a capitalistic culture. Like we, of course we need resources and we need money and we need places to live. But what, what, what is the actual culture what are we actually doing that we are participating in that is tied to our identity according to stepping out of the matrix and Saba Tahuti saying we are netters? What is the mm. culture that we are participating that is related to our true identity? That ties mm. into the ownership aspect of it because we don't even know who we are. So they own our identity. We've bought into the false narrative of who society tells us we are. So that's how we behave. So we don't even own ourselves. That's why it's so important for people to change their name. So looking forward to you changing your name, Netter, formerly known as AJ. That's why that's important. I think too, a great, a great question for Saba Tahuti in the pod class is what were the comedic, what were the Nile Valley holy days? What were the days, the, the festivals 
that they celebrate it. We need to know that so we can celebrate <laughs> those days. <laughs> no, no more Fourth of July. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Independence Day for black people? That's insanity. Oh, man. No more well, wasting well, in Trin- ammo. In, in Trinidad, we have um, some call Emancipation Day is when um, the Africans arrive. And then it have Indian arrival day as well. So we have a lot of holidays in Trinidad for each different race. So it's, it's, it's a little different where I'm from. You know, because Trinidad also, our, our prime minister is a black man and you know, in the Caribbean, is different, you know, to America. It's all the same. Yeah, yeah. It's all the same, my brother. We can go, we can go to Trinidad. We can go to South Africa. We can go mm-hmm. to uh, even Congo, some parts of the Congo, where the Chinese now are working to build the Belt and Road system. Hmm. It, the mindset never changes. The mindset transverses yeah. the physical. That's why Saba and I are so big about lowering your frequency because that's what's traveling while we're asleep. So it doesn't matter where we go, the blacks have no culture other than this. And and most of them reject this because you have to be accountable with this. You have to be responsible with this. You can't lie with this. You have to be diligent with this. You have to be persistent with this. You have to be disciplined with this. And to the average black person, they're not ready for that right now. So mm-hmm. to have you brothers up here now is an anomaly. It's, 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 people should take note of this with their notepads, what's going on right now. Because this is how we exist with a culture. Other than that, there, 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 there is no culture. I don't care what you call it. I don't care if, um, I don't care if you call it, uh, you know, Jamaica. I, I, I want to know who were you prior to um, Herodotus and Strabo and Diodorus, Dionysus, Alexander, Ptolemy. Who were you before these people invaded? Who, who are you? Hold on one second, Ahati. Hey, Shannon, make sure your uh, your YouTube is muted in the background so there's no echo. Go ahead, my brother. And nobody, nobody could tell us that conscious conqueror. Nobody can tell us that other than the people you're looking at here in Saba. Hmm. Now, when I say nobody can tell us that, yeah, there, there's teachers right now that can tell you that, but they're not living it 24 seven. We're not, uh, I don't know about everybody else on the panel here, but I don't, when I get off of here, I don't go and watch football. Or gay ball. I don't go and watch, uh, uh, you know, MTV. I don't do any of that. I I don't do any. I'm either researching the Tomahus, which we should be doing because they research us 24-7, or I'm in the Meadow Netter. I'm enhancing. I'm enhancing. I'm enhancing because that's how strong the Matrix is. The Matrix, my brother, the Matrix will say that you and the Rastafarian are the same because you have the same accent. (laughs) Right. Yeah, it's true. When I when I went to England, yeah, when I went to England, it all thought I was Jamaican. So yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, who who are you? See, for me, and I know the men up here, we want a culture. AJ said it great. AJ says I'm changing my name because I'm I'm growing into it. I'm growing now. So I want to grow into who I am at in the essence, which is a Baal, which is the Ka, which is what's now being called the spirit. This is how ancient blacks used to think. Oh, and by the way, ancient blacks never stressed about money because there was none. Mm. When you don't create the planet, the planet does not belong to you. That's why in every ancient brown race, from us to what's now being called the Native Americans, when the mm. who encountered them, the Tomahawk used the word that said own and work, own and work. And we looked at him, the leaders looked at him and said, you're out of your mind. You don't own anything. You don't even own the body you're in. How can you own a piece of land? And then the deception came in because after that, it went straight to violence. <laughs> That's what's really going on here. That's what's really going on. So these brothers that are up here and the sister, they're tired. They're tired of the games the matrix is a game people i say it all the time disobey in a little way and i don't care who's listening disobey in a little way 
Just a little way, just a little bit every day, disobey, a little bit, even if it's with your thoughts. Because they do not obey you one bit. And the most precious thing that's being valued in the society, you give it to them willingly. It's called your money. And they don't they don't they don't make money or, or work for it, they create it. You know, uh thank you, Ahati, for that. And one one of the things that I've really been grappling with of this whole thought of when um majority like in some places some spaces the tama who owns most of the real estate and the land and then i was thinking about the term land lord they think that they're the god of the land you not my you not the god of the land like I'm never calling anybody my landlord. You're not my landlord. You're not the God of this earth. That's like so disrespectful to me. So they like think they own everything. And so we gotta like, that just like, I'm just like, I'm just ready for change. I'm ready for, you know, just the true liberation of our people. Peace and love, peace and love. We got a guest, Shannon. Welcome, Shannon. I want to give you the opportunity to speak. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Peace to everybody that's on the panel. This is great. Um, I just basically wanted to show up and hold space for the sisters out there and just let them know that there's, you know, it's a safe, it's a safe space to come into. Yes, you hear that, sisters? There's no arguing. Coming straight from a sister herself. Great energy. We appreciate you. Yeah, the energy is wonderful. AJ, that was that was an awesome presentation. I love the way you broke down the the, the letter W. You know, it it says it right there in the name. It's 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 a double U. You break it apart, yeah. turn it around, and, and it's, it's just right there. The, the symbology is just all in alignment with, with everything that we're learning. And all Absolutely. the credit goes to Saba Tahuti. He is, he does not miss anything. Like, it is amazing how he is helping us to come of the consciousness and waking up and seeing things more clearly. Like, he, uh, if anybody has not rewatched uh, his presentation of stepping out of the matrix on Saad Netter, it is so good. I watched that repeatedly. I got that on repeat. Like he is breaking down science. He's like, numbers are letters and letters are numbers. Like he really, I mean, he's been he teaching. For he I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, right, he, right. he absolutely breaks it down, and you, you can tell because you can feel it when he's speaking. You can feel it. You can feel your you can feel your vibration ra raising. You can feel your consciousness expanding. You can actually physically feel it. So yes, I'll always edify my leader, Saba Tahuti, to the to the Most High. Like, I, it, it's just great to be here in the space with. Uh, lear learning these things it's just like um i start i started doing the etymology on some of the stuff and it's like i can't even i can't even have a conversation with somebody sometimes because i'll catch myself every other word like i i don't want to speak like this like i don't want to give any more power to uh things that i really don't know about and um just to you know, be involved in a class that's just teaching you how to step out of the matrix and actually integrate it into your everyday life. It's very powerful. I agree. I agree. Stepping out of the matrix. That's why this was started for us to step out of the matrix. Definitely Absolutely. salute to everybody uh, on the chat. Thank you for uh, sharing that, sister. Thank you. And sisters, join us. Yes, please come forward. Like I said, it's a safe space. Um, I encourage all the sisters to, you know, just jump on here, show face, show support. We love that. That's right. We need your support. We need everybody's support. 
I can't be the only one out here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's plenty of them in the in the chat room. They gonna come slowly but surely. We all came. Remember when the hot tea was the only one showing his face? Yes. <laughs> and then little yes. by little, we yes. all came. So, we all came. So they coming. The we're holding is, space for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely, sisters. Welcome. Well, um, if anybody got any announcements, any announcements, um, scribe, uh, AJ, any announcements for today? Uh, thank you for coming on, Conscious Conqueror. Thank you for coming on, Shannon. And uh, anybody else that would like to come on in the future, we appreciate your support. Any uh, announcements, AJ? I don't have any announcements at this time. I just want to say, um, you know, peace to the chat. Make sure you hit the like button if you haven't hit the like button yet. Um, of course, visit the website and uh, sign up for letter so you can make sure to get that uh, every weekend. You know, we're adding to it every week. You know, we're looking for, you know, new members to come join us. You know, you know, uh, active members, non-active members uh, to come join us and uh, help us grow as a movement. You know, we're looking for uh, designers, writers, social media influencers, creators, we're looking for all of that, you know? So if you have any type of skill or talent that you wanna utilize, you know, under my eye, you know, this is the place to do it, you know? So uh, you can go to the website and email me or hit that message button right in there and, you know, contact us so, you know, we can we can bring you on. You know, we definitely want, um, we definitely want your skill set and your talents that, you know, everyone has something that they can bring to the table, you know? So, you know, don't, don't be shy. Don't be afraid. You know, like like the, the goddess Shannon has said, this is a safe space for for everyone. You know, we're going to we're going to work through getting out of what we're what we're all in and what's holding us back from being able to reach the best versions of ourselves, you know, step by step. And, uh, you know, I just want to uh, point out as well, if uh, you know, like when we look at we know the world is controlled by, you know, language and, and what they call logos. You know the images you know and if you look up what what a logos is that you know it goes back to greek philosophy the 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 creative force and where you know what's 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 the length what they would call logos the metanetra it's literally symbols you know so that's that's where our power lies, you know. So we're everyone here today. We're definitely in the right steps. We're making the right steps. We're in the we're in the perfect place to be able to do what we need to do to be able to live every day, leading with our heart. That's that's the main purpose that we have to be able to do here. No matter what it is, how whatever road you want to take, you know, you need to be able to lead with your heart. And that's they take our time from us, and that in return takes our love out of what we choose to do every day so you know just peace and love to everybody make sure you hit that like button you know come back subscribe and you know uh put your email address in there in that newsletter create an account you know we're, we're definitely building and we're rolling and come be a part of us yeah i want to say one thing uh come out support the scribe he's got a youtube channel but support him more with your uh, time. He needs help with the website. He puts in a lot of work. This brother puts in a lot of work behind the scenes, and he needs help. So if there's brothers, sisters, anybody, if you don't, if you the excuse is you don't, you're not computer literate or whatever. The scribe can help you with that too. He just he needs help because we there's a lot of work to be done, and, and, and he needs help. So just set aside 20 minutes, a half an hour of your time. You can do that and uh come out and support the brother so we can really get this uh movement going thank you i just wanted to say i just wanted to build on uh what uh, uh scribe said too off of that scribe but uh taking it even further the logos is the emojis the emoji is basically trying to copy the metanetter same thing Everything is, brother. Everything is stealing from us. Okay, well, I would just like to add all you good brothers, you gods and goddesses in the room. How many of you in the chat right now would say you are God and goddess? I know I am. I'm a young netter. <laughs> I am a young netter, okay? I am a young netter. So is the, the young man over there laughing over there, the young, the young leader we have. 
But uh, I would like to say this. These are the questions that we need to ask ourselves. Uh, if we're gods and goddesses, what does a god and goddess eat? What is a god and goddess? How does a god and goddess love? How does a god and goddess uh, uh, have a relationship? What do you see? We're on a whole different level. We need to learn these things as young as young netters. Like, you know, how do how does a god and goddess speak? You know, how does a god and goddess make love? You know, all these things are very important to our very livelihoods. And these are things that we need to consider going forward is that we need to learn, relearn how we need to be. That's why I say I'm a young netter. I'm always be a young netter, by the way. But these are the things that we need to consider going forward. It's like we got to stay under the tutelage of, of our, our leader, Ahati, Ma'at, and then our, our, our Saba Saba, you know, uh, master teacher to Hudi, so we can continue to learn how do we need to how do we need to be as God and goddesses. I mean that's we can say it but are we living it? Do we act it out on the daily? That's what's important. See as a mm. God and goddess. That's what that's where we at. And so uh I love you all my good people and uh peace and love to all of you and let's do this because you know we've been told I mean we've been told so many names in our livelihood and called so many things that we're not now that we know who we are, now we need to act out our identities in our daily lives. So act accordingly. Act accordingly. I agree. I agree. How are we behaving? We have to behave as such. We're divine beings. We need to behave in a divine nature. I agree. And on that note, if anybody has any more announcements or anything else to add, we'll be closing it out. Scribe, you got anything? A hot tea? Uh, Conscious Conqueror, thank you for coming out. Shannon, thank you for coming. We appreciate your support. We really do. We need it, guys, ladies. We appreciate it. Yeah, if anybody wants to join after tonight, just contact uh, leadershipmembership.org. Right, Scribe? <laughs> Is that correct? <laughs> leadership, <laughs> leadership at teachingsofmyart.org. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> That's you put why the you link survived. in the room? Okay. Yeah. Great. Well, guys, Netas, I think that was a great class for today. Great, great study, guys. If you guys want to put up the uh, the affirmation, we'll close it out with that like we always do. If anybody got anything else to add? No. I just want to point out uh, I love the fact that Shannon's watching us on her TV. Yeah, that's awesome, right? <laughs> really? Enough. It's it with, yeah, with, uh, when Saba comes on, he's in every room of my house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let that frequency build flow. Energy. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Welcome. Right. Well, like I said, peace and love uh, to you, Shannon. Peace and love, Conscious Conqueror. And everybody in the chat that hasn't shown your face yet, uh, we look forward to seeing you eventually. We really do. Um on that note, scribe, put the affirmation up and we'll close it out. Peace and love, Hotep Ma'at. Peace and love, peace and love. <clears throat> We're going to close it out on the count of three. One, two, three. Unki in Ma'at, un in S, nin tet aset in Ma'ayat, men hap a pet in Ma'ayat, her in kukui, per e koot. I live for Ma'at, I exist within her, I do not speak in the place of Ma'at. Every day I advance towards my art. My being is surrounded in darkness. I come forth as conscious light. Hotep my art. Hotep my art. Peace and love, everybody. Peace and love. <laughs>